The Stamp Duty Victims Alliance claims government measures to cool down the property market are harming small property owners and the middle class. They want the government to relax the measures and will be taking to the streets this weekend to express their demands. Joel De Silva has more. Property agents, small owners and middle class residents. They call themselves the Stamp Duty Victims Alliance and claim that the government's stamp duty hikes to curb speculation in the property market are harming them. One of the members, Centerline founder Xi Wingting, says the number of property transactions since the new measures kicked in has dropped 70 percent, hurting not only the industry itself but also other related sectors. He also says the new measures are unfair towards small owners. And to the small owner, uh, they are more severely uh, affected by this measure because before this measure, they can sell their property to a lot of different kinds of people. Uh, this is their uh, property right to choose the purchaser to sell their property at the price uh, they accepted. Ultimately, she says the measures are affecting the property rights of small owners because they didn't expect the government to interfere with the market at the time they purchased their units. And he also warns that the government's intervention in the market is harming the city's international standing. Providing road tests, uh, allowance, uh, providing uh, free land for them uh, to build a headquarters, but they choose Hong Kong. Uh, that's what they got when they choose Hong Kong. So the, uh, a lot of foreign business people uh, no longer think Hong Kong welcome them. So this is not good to the economy for Hong Kong. This coming Friday, the Stamp Duty Victims Alliance will be publishing their list of demands in local newspapers. And that's not all. The Stamp Duty Victims Alliance will be taking to the streets this coming Sunday. They'll be marching from Victoria Park here to the central government offices to express their demands. Juan da Silva, TVB News.